So this is the Brewmance, where Mike Russell and I, Rob Hunter, review beers. First one we're gonna do, the Kilt Lifter. Made right here in Tempe, Arizona. As Mike's finishing his off, I'll give you a little pour. So Mike, why are we reviewing the Kilt Lifter today? Okay, here was the rub. A few weeks ago, Four Peaks that makes the Kilt Lifter was sold to InBev in some circles known as the evil empire of beer mm -hmm. because they own Budweiser. That's their biggest rub, is that they own Budweiser. Some local breweries, some local, excuse me, some local restaurants aren't selling Four Peaks, won't tap Four Peaks anymore because they've sold out. Now this is a bunch of nonsense. This just had me, this had me loaded for bear. I was ready to come unhinged when I heard, we don't sell Four Peaks anymore because they sold out to the big corporate empire. Let me tell you something, little restaurant. If your, if your owner, if Sam Fox came into your restaurant and said, I'm gonna give you $50 million for your restaurant, you're now a Fox Concept restaurant and you'll sell whatever and tap whatever he said. You know why? That's success. We're in a profit business. We're not running charities here. And that's the key, I think, Mike, is what you nail on the head there. So here comes this little company that's been in business since 1996, making beer here, like Kilt Lifter, like H Street Ale, like Hop Nut IPA, and doing it so well that the big brewers noticed. Because for a while, a few years ago, it seemed like the big businesses wanted to crush the, the craft beer industry, just wanted to crush them like that. Right. But instead of doing that now, the big brewers are saying, you know what? People really like this beer, so they want to get in on it. And as you said, that keyword there is success. It's Dell Computers, it's whatever, buying your startup company. It's Facebook buying Instagram. That's what this is. We all love Instagram, we all love Facebook. We should still love Kilt Lifter Beer. Yeah. Four Peaks, you name it. Every restaurant in this, especially the home state of Arizona, understand yes. for, for the millions, the hundreds of millions of dollars that this company was purchased for, that Four Peaks was purchased for. The owners are staying here. The brewers are staying here in Arizona. This money comes here mm -hmm. to Arizona. They're still a local company. It just, it's time to share it with the rest of the world. Get over yourself. And that's the big part. So we've been able to drink this in Arizona since 96. So now you're gonna be able to get it in Texas. You're gonna be able to get it in Washington. My folks back in Massachusetts, in some point in time, will be able to drink a Kilt Lifter beer that they can buy in their supermarket. Most importantly though, this is not going to start tasting like Budweiser. Kilt Lifter will always be Kilt Lifter. It is the recipe, it's how they make it, it's how they brew it. It's going to stay the same. It's not gonna be a wimpy, fizzy yellow beer anytime soon. It's gonna be a great Arizona product for years and years to come. And this is kind of a, a recognition that people want better beer. They don't just want the light beers that you can drink for 350 at happy hour. They want a Four Peaks uh, Kilt Lifter. So let's talk about this beer. Kilt Lifter is listed as a Scottish style ale. And quite honestly, it's a pretty damn good beer. It always has been. Mm -hmm. it, it rivaled when, it, here locally, it rivaled Fat Tire. When Fat Tire came to the market, when New Belgium started um, importing to Arizona, sorry, exporting to Arizona, it was, it was, that was the beer. That was like the cool beer to have. Kilt Lifter came and combated that, and I think is it, they made a better product. Yeah, this is a very good beer. This is a beer you could drink anywhere. You go to a restaurant, they got it on tap, you want to get one. So. Should we do our scores? Oh, we're gonna score this? We're gonna score it? Let's score it. So we have what we call the what? What are we calling it? This the it's the beerometer. The brewometer. Brewometer. Or beerometer. Brewometer. I don't know. Ask our producer. Yeah. Beerometer, brewometer, yeah. brewmance ometer, because we're the brewmance. So one to ten scale. The one to ten scale. That's how we're gonna score it. You wanna go first? Yeah. You have yeah. the honors? I, I will. I, I think this has always been this is their flagship beer. Kilt Lifter's mm -hmm. what bring this is the this is the date that brought them to the dance. No doubt. And I think they're gonna keep it the same. I give the, this thing a solid seven. Nice. A solid seven. I'm gonna go eight for the Kilt Lifter right. beer. So that means the Brewmance Ometer beer, Brewometer Brew score beer is a seven and a half. Composite score, Mike Russell half the bat the vote, Rob Hunter half the vote, seven, eight gives it a seven and a half. That means it's definitely a beer worth trying drinking, and enjoying. So Kilt Lifter, Four Peaks, we're proud of you. We're proud of you from Arizona, and we're proud that you've been bought by one of the big boys because it proves that you've made one hell of a beer. And if you want to, you know, grab a beer, golf, call me. Just yeah. hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're in. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> that is the edition of Brewmance Reviewing. 
The Four Peaks Kilt Lifter. What he said. Uh -huh.